Mm -hmm. So, 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 um, what do you think about the diversity in DC? Well, in DC, I think you have. I mean, you have a lot of different races, but a lot of times it still seems really segregated in a lot of ways. Like, this is a white part of town, and this is a black part of town. Um, for a while, it, you know, I, I remember Columbia Heights was often thought of as like the Hispanic or Latino part of town. Um, and um, I think that gentrification is changing a lot of the way we look at places like H Street, you know, flourishing up there. And um, even, I mean, with the, with the growth of this Harris Cedar and Jenkins Row and all of that over here, it's definitely changed a lot. But um, I still think, I mean, there, there are definitely places in DC where you'll, you're not going to find a single X type person. Um, it's just going to be very one kind of person or another, and um, it's it's strange. Um, it makes me a little uncomfortable. Like it remind, like you know, um, I've taken family vacations in Puerto Rico, and you go to these beautiful resorts in Puerto Rico, and it's all of these you know nice um, upper middle class people on their vacations, and you walk out of those grounds, and you can you can see a lot of poverty, and it and that disparity. Um, it made me uncomfortable to the point where, like, I don't, I don't want to have vacations like that ever again. Um, and I, I can see having a problem with settling in D.C. in the same way. Like, I don't, I don't want to live in a place where I feel like I have access but other people don't, um, or um, I'm. What, what's my role in the neighborhood? I mean, I, I just think it's a question. Mm -hmm. It's something that mm -hmm. comes up. Yeah. So when you ask yourself that, what do you, what do you, what is, what, what is the answer that you give, that you get, that you come up with? I don't. Well, <laughs> um, someone asked where I lived um, recently at work, and because we we like to talk about how you know what what kind of roles we're playing in our neighborhoods, because working for a community development organization, we we talk about that a lot. Um, and I said, oh, I live in Southeast, and. Um, and I was trying to describe where, and I was like, you know, by that Harris Teeter, and and they were like, wait, you live in Sopa? I guess people are calling it Sopa now, south of Pennsylvania Avenue. I don't know. This is a thing that I, I'm not. Uh, if I'm completely in the dark about it, but apparently we live in Sopa, and um, and he said why and my <laughs> I didn't really have a good answer but off the cuff though the first thing I said was well someone asked you um, and I mean. I think my other answer is why not? I, I I can't find a better deal for for rent in terms of like square footage and that sort of thing. Um, I we've got friends that live on the hill, and I'm excited to be able to like walk to their houses or ride my bike. Um, and and I mean we're close to so many important things. The fact that you know you walk out on Pennsylvania Avenue and you see the Capitol. I mean that gets me every day. Um, and so I think I'm one of those people that's trying to help bring up a neighborhood that previously was a place that, that even I wouldn't have wanted to live in. But I think also I'm one of those people that maybe you see and you're like, you're the reason why everything is getting more expensive and you're the reason why we can't afford this. And um, I mean, we, we rent there now and I don't, we can't afford to buy in even this neighborhood anymore where we can talk about controversy and we can talk about Potomac Gardens, but um, it's really expensive around here, and um, and I think DC has a lot of issues to work out with that. Mm 